we've we've had some spectacular opportunities to make some really wonderful pictures of the of the robotic arm we have here. And it's parked right outside the lab window, and this is a view at the lab window during uh, uh, going through the Terminator, the Sunset Terminator, and you you get these these fantastic views of a of a crescent uh, lit Earth with the arm, and here here is a view of the arm. And uh, again, I apologize. This doesn't show up well on on uh, the the video of the digital still, but there's aurora activity, which you can see through the arm. You can see pink green aurora activity uh, through the arm and all of this of course is in northern Canada. Don, sometimes you get uh, glow on the surface of a shuttle or the station that's facing into the ram direction of flight. Have you guys witnessed that? No, we haven't witnessed that. Uh, oh, although this glow that you see here, it almost looks like the arm has a halo around it. It looks kind of angelic. And you can see some small air glow bands on the horizon of Earth. And I was in the process of photographing the air glow bands with the arm when the sun popped over the horizon on the other side. And it uh, lit up the arm and, and sort of overexposed the picture. I thought it kind of looked neat just because uh, the arm looks like it has this angelic uh, uh, view to it. And, uh, and here's another view of the arm with the star fields behind it. Uh, I believe that's Paul Oxygaster just to, uh, to the right of the end effector on the arm and we're in its current position uh, so we can look at the Nader CBM on the node uh, for the cleaning we did last week. It sort of looks like a street lamp. And then there's one more section here in, uh, in a, another few seconds. A city light are just amazing from orbit. And we've had the opportunity with these night cameras tweaked up to take some uh, spectacular pictures of city light. And this is a city in northern United States. I can't remember uh, exactly which, I can't place what city this happens to be. But it, uh, yeah, we had some uh, very clear evening passes where we could see these city lights. And it's hard to find a place on Earth that doesn't have city lights. So here's a, a picture of Long Island uh, as we're uh, off uh, on the Atlantic side. And you can see Long Island is pretty well lit up all the way down to uh, Baltimore, I guess. Looks like a scattering of uh, diamonds on, a, on black velvet. That's a good metaphor. And again, these images just don't catch the real thing, just don't do the real thing justice. But uh, I, I, I wanted to try, and, and then I share that with you folks down on the ground. And then here is the shoreline. Uh, uh, on, I believe this is on one of the northern shores in Canada. And there was a, an array of clouds offshore that were lit by the moon. And then you could see the coastline dotted by the city light. Do city lights along a coastline help you identify which continent you're overflying? They do at times. They they do at times. If, if you're if you're familiar with your geography, uh, for example, the LA Basin area, you can definitely tell when you're coming up to to that area. And, and here's some more of the clouds that are over the the, the ocean with the shore. And again, this, the, the landscape is lit fairly well by the, by the near full moon, and then you can see a few little towns dotting on the land. What is that light in the top left corner there? Is that a boat out in the ocean? Oh, I think that's the cursor from the computer display that I uh, inadvertently forgot and left in the view of the camera. I was hoping nobody would notice that. We'll pretend it's a boat.